Good morning everybody, Mikey Mullen. Well today I'm out here solo at Stampede Reservoir. Here's the ramp and it's about uh, 6 o'clock in the morning and that parking lot is full already. So I'm out here, I believe Troy is out here with his buddy. So I'm sure we'll run into him but there's already probably 20 boats. Sorry about 20 boats uh, out here on the water. And uh, just talked to a few guys on the, on the um, dock there. Uh, they were here all day yesterday, only caught five, so it sounds like fishing might be a little tough. So let's see what we can get into. Got a guy right there. Already marked a couple fish. Troy's out there somewhere. Let's get it going. So I'm getting ready to get set out. So here's what I'm running. Uh, I got my little Eagle Claw with my um, vector reel. And what I'm using is a 5.5 UV uh, double-sided Wonder Bread from uh, Top Coat Flashers. And then I am using a little something I tied up. Uh, of course, tipped with my corn, so tuna corn. And if you guys don't know, tuna corn, you just take some tuna, take the oil, get the tuna in the oil, take the oil out and pour it in uh, a jar with, with the corn, dump the water out of the corn, dump the corn in a bowl, uh, then drop your oil in there, let it soak. So this has been soaking for about a week uh, from me and Jen's last trip out to Bullard. So hopefully this corn's still good, it appears to be, but uh, let's get set out and see what happens. First one set out. Let's see how long it takes before we get a bite. All right, just got set out. So I got one at 30, got this one at 30, got that one at 35 feet down. So about 70 feet back. Let's uh, let's see what happens. I'm showing a lot of fish, about 50, 60 feet. Look right here. There's a bunch of fish. There's one of my downriggers. Looks like I'm going to need a lower one of them. So we'll adjust as we go. Let's see what happens. Come on. Come on. I already got a fish on. Right there. Good fish. Got a fish on. All right, first fish. That's a nice one. Check that little chunker out. Not quite sure how big. Let's measure it up. Already got a 14 incher. So sometimes, sometimes when you use your trolling motor and you can like turn it really sharp like this, you'll drag this one faster and this one over here will drop down lower. Sometimes that'll entice them. Go one way and you go back the other way, pull the other one. 
sometimes that makes enough movement to get them to bite. Look at that, there's Troy. Let's swing by Troy and see if we can uh, mess him up. <laughs> I want to drop off these little lures I made from these some things I tied up last night this white one is the one I just got hit on um, by the 14 incher so I'm gonna pass these over to Troy um, this is a little foam board so I'll probably just throw it in the water let it float and he can snack it up with his his um, net so let's see I guess we'll see if that's gonna work there's Troy right there All right, so here we go. There's Troy. He's ready with his net. Here goes my little foam board I talked about. I'm gonna throw it out in the water. All right, there it is, floating in the water. We know he can net fish. Let's see if he can net a lure. <laughs> What's up? What's up, man? What's happening? What's up? What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, you know. Anything yet? 14 incher. Did you just get out here? This is Ron. How you doing, Ron? What's up, 14 incher on the white one. Oh, really? On Nailed your, it. Your glow. Uh, You'll see it. The, the only gave you one. Okay. <laughs> if you need another one, let me know. Okay. Don't mess me up, bro. <laughs> I know. Hey, you guys know he doesn't have his charter license. Make sure you claim that income, Troy. Honey guy. So for some of you guys that don't use downriggers often, these reels, this is Alexa 100, uh, these reels have line counters on them. And what we do is we, as you can see, it says 40, 41, 42. This is how far back I'm setting my line. Usually I go from 70 to 100. So let me get it to a 70 and I'll show you what we do after that. Okay, 70. Click the bail, and then what you do is you take your line and you hook it into this downrigger clip. Just like that. Downrigger clip is connected to the ball. The ball is connected to the line. This here is your ball retriever. So you let it back out so it goes straight down. You want to open your bail. And then you want to hit down and you can see the line counter right here and we're gonna go down to 35 feet oh fish on 35 feet Ooh, feels like a good one a little one another little one let's see if we can let this one go nice and good 
Oh, there she goes. Popped off perfect. And I think... Fish out. Fish out. Oh yeah, he's on there. Hopefully this is another nice one. Come on, baby. Give me another 14. This one's not fighting as hard as the other one. Oh, he's a good one, though. Another nice one. All right, come on. Let's go. That's another good one. Let's see what this one comes out to. Thirteen. Go ahead and keep that one too. Oh, got a fish. Got a fish. Got a fish. Got a fish. This one may have came off. Nope, oh, nope, he's on there. Oh, he's fighting now. He's fighting now. Oh, just lost him, just lost him. Just came off. All right, well that was a good little spot. I say I just need one. I say I just need one more too, but I'm gonna go for a uh, trout after. Howdy. Morning. How are you today? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Catching anything yet? Uh, I got four of them so far. Yeah. Nice. Some pretty decent ones. Okay. Yep. Yep. Cool. Do you have your license on it? Yeah, yeah. Want me to stop? Um, I think you'll be right. Okay. Yeah, beautiful morning. Oh yeah. You've been out here all morning? Uh yeah. Yeah, pretty cold. Uh this morning it was yeah. when that fog was around. Got pretty chilly. <laughs> Somewhere. Uh, you know what, like there's some shallow ones, um, and then the shallow ones seem to be, I don't know, eight, nine inches, not very big. Okay. But, gotcha. shit, before you even start lowering your downer, they're hitting it. No kidding. Yeah, the little ones, but, which I've never caught them on the surface like that, so yeah. that's crazy, so. Interesting. But. You mind if I just check the cooler? Oh yeah, absolutely. You said it's four? Yeah, right now I got four. Good one. Yeah, I got some good ones, 14s. Cool. Very cool. One to go. Huh? One more. Yeah, you'll get them. And then I've seen there's some big old marks too, so I might go, I don't know, some cutthroat. There you go. Mark. Those guys said they caught a, or I don't know, someone said they caught a nice little hunt in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's some deep. I caught one uh, 12, 13 inches about four years ago, so there's got to be some nice ones in here. For sure. Appreciate Good it. Luck to you, sir. Appreciate Thank it. You. All right. 
see so always carry your license you never know when they're gonna show up that's the first time they've ever I've ever seen them on this lake but that's good because I guarantee you there's people out here without fishing license and they're about to get caught See if this is the last one. See what size this one comes in at. Feels like a good one. It's my kokanee. Looks like another uh, nice 13 or 14 incher. Now it's time to go for trout. It's a nice kokanee right there. Thirteen and a half. in the box. 